All right, the time has come to present your speech. It's public speaking, so this day was inevitable. So many of you are going to say, what do I need for my informative speech? And while it is written, I also wanted to have a video to explain it. So let's start with content requirements. These are my most frequently asked questions. How long does it have to be? Three to five minutes. Listen, I will stop grading at the five minute mark. I have a lot of students and I cannot grade 11, 12, 17 minute speeches. So three to five minutes. You need to stay within those time constraints. You will also need to add research. So you're gonna have three oral citations. I have included a video in the research uh, support material section to help you understand what it sounds like to orally cite research in your presentation. So watch that video for examples because students will say at the end, here are my sources. Well, that's not how you cite research in a speech. As you're presenting, you're saying, according to this article, uh, blank, according to a research study uh, by Harvard Business, blank. So you want to make sure you're citing as you go. You don't add, you don't say, here were my citations at the very end. The topic can be one of your choice. If you are passionate about scrapbooking, um, which is dates me just a little bit, but you may love turtles or you may want to talk about charcuterie boards. It is completely up to you, uh, but you'll have feedback from your audience and from me on your topic, because you might need to narrow it down, but the topic is up to you, it's your choice. What should you include? You should have an introduction, you should have a body, which will include three main points, and you should have a conclusion. Now, when it comes to the delivery requirements, here's what you need to know. You should have business casual dress on. You don't need to buy a suit, but you do need to look like you dressed up um, for an interview, whether that's a simple black or navy or solid color shirt. Um, just remember, simple is key. We don't want what you're wearing to be louder than what you're saying. We also need to know that you're wearing something. So you need to back up enough from the camera so that we can see your gestures as well as you from at least the waist up. You wanna deliver from notes. Yes, you can use note cards, but not a manuscript. This is an extemporaneous speech. It should follow an outline with notes. It should not be a manuscript that you read, specifically not read from your computer screen. Then you wanna stand and deliver with your note cards. So we want to see you um, backing up just a little bit like this. So you can uh, put your laptop or if you're recording on your phone just set it up so that it's eye level so that you're backed up just a little bit from it so those are the content and delivery requirements i'm going to say this repeatedly practice doesn't make perfect but practice does make presentable so practice 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 and then record and when you mess up don't hit pause and start over just go with it recover keep going that says a lot and will develop good muscle memory for you as a presenter so i cannot wait to watch your speeches